This is a Kohler 25 horsepower V-twin engine. It's a carbureted engine and it powers a Craftsman GT5000 uh, garden tractor. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the, uh, the governor system on this engine. The type of governor used on this engine is a uh, centrifugal flyweight mechanical governor. And the uh, components you need to concern yourself with are the, uh, the governor spring, which is right here. There's a governor arm, which connects to the spring, which is right here. And then up here is a... Uh, cross shaft which you need to you need you need to know where that's at and then the, the this lock nut here for the governor arm you need to loosen that up to adjust this uh, cross shaft the cross shaft is the part that actually connects to the mechanical governor which is located um, inside this engine crankcase the way that this governor works when you're at full throttle is this uh, spring spring here holds this governor arm all the way that way which forces your um, throttle wide open and uh, your engine cranks up and it, it you know it, it gets up to speed and then the uh, the flyweights the centrifugal flyweights on the uh, governor uh, start to oppose this uh, this this spring this governor spring here and they actually force this arm in the opposite direction uh, when that force is equal to the the spring force uh, is where is where your uh, where your throttle will be set at where where it will stop and you can see when when I pull this this way you can see that the throttle up here maybe you can see inside here starts to close so it will rest at a certain RPM and that's how it, it governs the uh, the engine speed um, if you if your engine encounters a load, it will lower the RPM, um, decreasing the force of the uh, centrifugal weights on the governor, and uh, the spring force will then be greater, and it will pull this arm that way again, and that will open up the uh, the throttle over here, uh, supplying more fuel to the engine, which will then e increase the engine speed, and then and then the the uh, the opposite will occur. Um, the flywheels on the uh, centrifugal um, arm will start to oppose this uh, spring even more, pulling it this way until until there's a balance. The way that you adjust this governor system is to take this governor arm and hold it all the way that way, as far as it will go. I find it easier to do this when the throttle's wide open, um, but it really doesn't matter. You, just as long as you have this uh, this arm all the way that way. Then at the same time, while you're holding it in that position, you want to loosen up this this lock nut right here, so that you're, what you're doing is you're you're loosening up this governor um, arm from the uh, cross shaft, which is right here. Um, in this cross shaft is a hole that goes all the way through. If I can take this tool and I can insert it into the cross shaft, uh, like so. And while I have that arm in that position, I want to turn this, this uh, cross shaft all the way as far as I can uh, counterclockwise. When I have it in that position, um, everything in that position, I want to go back and uh, tighten up this lock nut. And that's all there is to uh, tightening or adjusting this governor. Um, so I'll go ahead and go through the process now on camera. Uh, I really shouldn't say that that's all there is to adjusting the governor because uh, there's also these holes in the governor arm where you can change the position of the spring which will change the sensitivity of the governor system. But uh, I don't want to talk about that in this video. Uh, it's, you leave that for another one. Um, the first thing you need to do to adjust this governor is uh, loosen up the lock nut in here. And I'm using this tool, it's a 10 millimeter socket, uh, to loosen it up. And that frees up the governor arm uh, from the uh, the cross shaft here. Then you want to take your take the governor arm and push it all the way that way with your with your finger. And at the same time, um, there's a hole going through this cross shaft. Uh, the manual says to use a nail uh, to insert a nail into this cross shaft so you can turn it clockwise. But 
it's easier to use this 90 degree pick. Just insert it into the end of the cross shaft and you can see I can turn it clockwise and counterclockwise. I want to turn it all the way counterclockwise and at the same time try and hold this uh, governor arm and everything in position. It's really it kind of holds itself but I'll just make sure hold it into position and then tighten up that lock nut. And that's it. That's all there is. Um, that's all there is to it. But like I said, there's you can change the sensitivity, sensitivity level of the governor system by you know changing the spring where it uh, connects with the the governor arm. But I'll leave that for another video. Also, I wanted to mention that uh, to get to this area, I had to remove the air filter. Air filter. Um, you know, it connects here and the air filter uh, body connects here with a couple of nuts and a couple of bolts here but uh, yeah that's all there is to it so I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching